Stress and Development Lab at Harvard University says that um, thinking about a negative or challenging situation um, in a positive way is a positive uh, reappraisal. Um, this could involve thinking about a benefit or upside to a negative situation that you did not consider. Alternate, alternatively, it can involve identifying a lesson learned from a difficult situation, finding something to be grateful about in a challenging situation after a breakup, um, thinking about opportunities to meet new people, and the gratitude you feel for the time spent together. That's not usually how you feel when you break up with someone else. <laughs> um, so in, yeah, so today I'm going to explain how positive reappraisal and conflict um, can turn a negative situation into a positive um, in my relationship of two years, uh, we have become stuck in what our book calls a uh, negative sentiment override. Um, and negativity had built over time. We have trust issues. Um, all subsequent relational events and experiences get interpreted in a negative filter. Um, and living together, this, this has been difficult. Um, the Harvard study so the Harvard study talks about um, ways of thinking that I formerly practice a lot in my relationship. Um, in a study called The Science of Stress, Cognitive Reappraisal, they talked about all or nothing thinking, um, overgeneralization, and then mental filter, which was a single negative thought over and over again so that reality is darkened. It's definitely something that I do or did. Um, but it's important to rephrase um, positive, uh, positive reaffirmation it talks about how thoughts aren't facts. So if you're thinking, I will always be alone, always sad and alone, um, you can identify extreme language and think, you know, always, uh, and then rephrase, maybe I won't die alone. <laughs> um, thoughts aren't facts. Men are horrible. Um, identifying extreme language would be, my son is horrible, he's amazing, he is. Um, and maybe all men aren't horrible. <laughs> Question assumptions, ask for someone else's perspective. So if I told Hensley about a situation, uh, would she have the same perspective as I do? Probably not. Um, this is in happier times. Uh, positive reappraisal fires up <laughs> your neural pathways and makes changes to those areas of the brain that make you happy and positive. Positive reappraisal fires up your neural pathways and makes changes to those areas of the brain that make you happy and positive. Uh, positive reappraisal reduces stress and helps us be healthier. So if Courtney Gurr came to class and Tino and William said to her, uh, Courtney, you are the greatest teacher in the world. Her reward centers would light up the same as if she were eating great food or winning a prize. <laughs> In my relationship, I decided to try um, positive reappraisal and came home ready to set the climate and try to fix what was wrong. I was met with the four horsemen of the apocalypse and they were not happy. <laughs> um, and wait, let's see, go back, yeah. So what I learned is that sometimes you wanna fix things and the other person doesn't wanna fix things and you, or maybe they do, but they wanna do it in their own way. What this taught me is that there's a way to look at the bright side of a breakup and not see it as the end of the world, but see it as something that you can move past if you use the right tools. <laughs> um, and I, I looked at my happy place. What this got me to see is that there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Um, and as our textbook says, you can be the climate expert in your relationship. Um, you can aspire to grow from challenging situations and take a positive approach to a negative situation that may seem simple, but isn't always. <laughs>